it's a long ways away. That's uh, it's pretty breathtaking, honestly. A 9-11 memorial with a piece of the World Trade Center attached sits less than 50 yards from where 33 men are in a regional firefighting recruit class in Dinwiddie County. Yes, sir. Including Chris Torres, who is originally from New York City. Um, I could see it from the window, saw the towers fall. From his school classroom, Torres's world changes. He lost an aunt when the towers fell. He joined the Air Force because of 9-11, and now at 31, his goal, helping others. Being a kid and having that happen kind of kind of imprints on you a little bit. You want to help others. This regional class is made up of recruits from Petersburg, Colonial Heights, Hopewell, Dinwiddie, and Prince George. 43-year-old Anthony Runyon was working at a paper mill in Richmond that day. So we remember that this happened and we try to learn from it, try to heal from it, and try to remember what's important. Everyone in this class understands the sacrifices made by first responders that day. 22 years later, Chris Martin says there are positives and negatives on this anniversary. God forbid if it ever happens again, we can be there and be the best of our abilities to help and anybody that's in need of it, still always going to be a sad day, but we always got to remember the ones that fell for all of us. So if I can get a few guys to get the stretcher out. The 18-week recruit school is currently in the EMT stage. Michael Erb is wanting to become the third generation firefighter in his family, with 9-11 playing a role in his decision to join. It's a different sense of feeling, uh, knowing that you're going into a profession of those who give their all. The first part of class Monday morning, 19-year-old Dion Pendergast says, spent remembering the sacrifices made that day. I saw what they did and how brave they were, and I wanted to uphold the standards of how they did that day. And all agree on this day in this class. It's an honor to be in the recruit school uh, on 9-11. And it's something that me and my family do with our kids. Just, we, we put on the broadcast and we show them every year. 343 New York City firefighters and paramedics died on September 11, 2001. For the recruits, this day is not just a time to honor their memory, but to also remember their bravery and their commitment to helping others. In Colonial Heights, Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.